When personal injury clients ask for my advice, either I or one of the lawyers that work for me make sure we talk about the big picture. Now what's the big picture? The big picture are the players of the game. My personal feeling is that if my clients understand who the players of the game are, then they're better able to protect themselves from these organizations, and they're better able to understand the role of the lawyer. Now the role of the lawyer is much more than just getting them money. It's about protecting you. Protecting you from these organizations, each that have their own agenda. The auto insurance company is the first player in this drama. They usually represent the person who hurt you. Their loyalty is to their policyholder, not to you. Now the insurance adjuster usually calls you a day or so after the accident and wants you to give a recorded statement. They will say they need it to process your claim, and they may even try to become your friend. They are not your friend. Really what they're doing is, they're getting you to make statements on tape so that they can use it against you later in court. The seemingly smallest thing you say, such as, I'm not that hurt, may come back to haunt you and be used against you to reduce the value of your claim. Now these auto insurance adjusters may be good people, but they are trained to get you to take a reduced amount of money by, among other things, getting you to make personal statements. So if I can be blunt, can you trust the auto insurance company that represents the person who hit you? Even if you're processing your claim through your own auto insurance company, can you trust them that they're going to give you a fair offer for your injuries? Are they going to guide you to make sure that you take every step you need to protect your rights to maximize your personal injury claim? Come on, common sense says no. Auto insurance companies are profit-making organizations, and your claim reduces their profits. Remember this, the less you get, the more profit they make. The second group of players in the personal injury arena are the medical providers. If you went to the hospital after the accident, were transported by ambulance, saw your family doctor, had testing, or saw a local chiropractor, you were treated by this group of medical providers. Now you might think the medical providers have your best interest at heart, and medically they do. But remember, these medical providers are also money-making businesses, and as such, they want to be paid for the treatment they gave you. And if their bills aren't paid, they can sue you and affect your credit. Also, you have no real way of knowing if the treatment they provided was reasonable or necessary, or if the bills were reasonable. The auto insurance company will only compensate you for treatment and bills that are reasonable. In addition, some medical providers will not even see you if you're involved in a motor vehicle accident. No matter what non-lawyers tell you or promise you, the truth is that you are ultimately responsible for your medical bills. And if a health insurer or auto insurer won't pay them, you may have to pay the bill yourself. The next player or players in the personal injury game is the private and government health insurers. This includes private health insurers like Medical Mutual and Cigna, federal government medical insurers like Medicare, and state insurers like Medicaid. You may even have a type of health insurance through your auto policy called Medical Payments Coverage or MedPay. Now interestingly enough, often one or more of these providers are required to pay the bills and this helps keep you out of collections. Now when and how much different insurers should and will pay for bills from a motor vehicle accident is complicated, but a lawyer can assist you with this serious concern. Now once these different insurers pay and your claim settles, you usually have to repay these health insurers from the money you receive from your auto insurance settlement. If you don't pay them, depending upon the entity, they can sue you, drop you, or even worse. However, there is good news. Many clients don't know that the law sometimes allows you to not repay health insurers. This can put more money in your pocket. A lawyer can help with this issue. It isn't always just how much you collect from the auto insurance company that affects how much money you personally receive, but how much you have to repay to doctors and health insurers. The less you have to repay, the better for you. The fourth player in the personal injury game is the personal injury lawyer like me. Personal injury lawyers are the only group that is dedicated exclusively to protecting your interests when dealing with the other three entities already discussed, the auto insurance companies, medical providers, and health insurers. So how does a lawyer do this? With respect to the auto insurance company, the lawyer collects all the evidence to make sure that you can properly prove who is at fault and so you can prove your injuries are from the accident. 
They make sure you don't give statements to the auto insurance adjuster that will be used against you later in court in what's called a deposition. They help ensure that the auto insurance company makes you a fair offer. That they consider your lost wages, future medical bills, any kind of pain and suffering that you or your family members have gone through, any kind of permanency in your injuries, any kind of suffering you've gone through from your testing, or from any treatment you've received, and more. So when it comes to the auto insurance companies and their well-trained adjusters, the lawyer gets you money. Now, the auto insurance companies sometimes say, don't get a lawyer because the lawyer takes all your money. Besides the fact that any adjuster who says this is giving legal advice and breaking the law, insurance companies know this is not true on average. If the insurance company offers you this much and your lawyer gets you this much and takes his percentage, in most cases, you're left still with more money than if you did it yourself. The issue isn't what the lawyer gets. The issue is what goes into your pocket at the end of the case. Adjusters know that they pay more on average when a lawyer is involved. Actually, one insurance company's training manual actually instructs its adjusters to try to keep injured people from getting a lawyer by being nice to them so they can save money for the insurance company. It's important to be smart about this. If the lawyer or law firm has a reputation of litigating lowball or unreasonable offers from the auto insurance company, the insurance company knows it will cost them more to defend the case in court, and if they don't settle, they can get stuck with a large possible verdict from an unpredictable jury. So it's important to talk to your lawyer about how often he goes to court to fight for his clients, and what are some recent jury verdicts or settlements for your type of claim. Now, of course, there is no bright line rule in this area, but you can get a gut feeling about your lawyer. Is he gonna fight for you, or just take the offer the insurance company gives? In my opinion, if he or she always takes the offer of the insurance company, how does that benefit you? With respect to medical providers, the role of the lawyer is to help you make sure that you can receive proper diagnosis, treatment, and documentation of all of your injuries. Did you know that many family doctors won't even see their patients for motor vehicle accidents? Presumably because they don't want to be involved in litigation. The lawyer checks to see that the doctor you see is competent to treat your type of injury. You wouldn't see a massage therapist for a broken bone, would you? The lawyer gathers the reports he needs to properly present your claim to the auto insurance company. A report written by a doctor stating whether your injuries or surgery is from the accident can affect the value of your claim. Remember, you have the burden of proving your injuries exist and that all of your injuries are a result of the accident. The lawyer also helps keep your bills out of collections while you finish treatment and wait to settle your claim. Also, lawyers can sometimes negotiate reductions in medical bills, which can increase the amount of money you receive. With respect to health insurers, we help make sure that they pay when appropriate so your bills don't go into collections. If you don't have health insurance, sometimes a lawyer can give a letter of protection promising payment if and when the case settles. This can also keep your bills out of collections. Also, a lawyer can help you get permission from your health insurance to settle when it's appropriate so you don't lose your health insurance or your rights to future medical benefits. That's a big one. That's something that almost none of my clients have ever considered. Hey. I can lose my health insurance if I don't settle this claim correctly. It changes the whole dynamic of, do I need a lawyer, from how much is he going to take for my settlement to, wow, he protected my rights. And in certain situations, like when there's not even enough auto insurance, I may be able to reduce or eliminate repayment to health insurers altogether. In general, the less you repay, the more you get. At every turn, the personal injury lawyer's job is to help you prove your claim to maximize your recovery and reduce the amount that you have to legally repay to medical providers or health insurers. It's not always just how much you get, it's how much you keep that matters.